Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will try to see how to handle the events like click handler in the React.js. Now, if you try to see here, this is the post, right? Now, here, what I will try to do, I will try to add a button. There is nothing but what I can say is I will take one div here. Okay. So I will take one div and here I will be adding one button. So update post. So update post. Let's think that update post title or anything. Okay, this is the button. Now here this is the class name we will be having of type px-5 by hyphen 2 okay, bg hyphen red hyphen 500 okay rounded of an hyphen 3 xl so this is the text hyphen white so this is the button let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output i am able to see that update post title now if i if i try to click on this button so what it need to happen is so it need to update the title of the post the same scenario post also we can do it but i am trying to do the post title now if i want to update the post title what i can do is first what we can do is so we will write that update post title or otherwise update title handler okay or other uh, like this we will be writing so this is the function and here let's try to write console.log updating title okay so this is the method now i want to call this method when i need to call this on button so how we can write the event is on click okay on click is equal to sorry like this we need to call okay so if we keep brackets here automatically without on click so what is this happening what is what will this happen see if you try to see update title handle is not defined okay fine why it is not defined is it is representing in the class it is present in the class this method so we need to use the this dot now if i try to refresh this page immediately if you try to see here update title handler is not defined you are able to see that update title handler is not defined why because so this this method is trying to call immediately but it, uh, this method this method should not be called immediately what we need to do so this method should be called when we click on this button so that that means what we need to do is we need to remove this one okay so we need to remove this one we need to pass the function reference rather than directly calling the function if you give parentheses like this immediately the function will be called it will be called immediately so this is a javascript basic feature now if you try to give the reference of this one so whenever the click happened then only this method will be called now if i try to now if i try to refresh this one okay so now there will be no errors if you try to see here there will be no errors and if i try to click on this update title i am able to see the updating title i am able to see okay now if i try uh, now what i need to do is i need to change the post title so how we can change so previously we learned using the set state so using the set state i can send the post title and i can send modified title okay so i can modify the, this dot set state. Will, will it update this one let's try to check so now if i try to check here if i try to refresh this one okay so nothing happened so now if i try to click on this one see we got an error again it is telling that i am unable to modify the set state why because so here we are calling the reference so immediately this doesn't reference to this class actually this ref should refer to this class but this refers to the update button event handler why because we already know that the document dot get event by uh, add event listener of click if you ask if you, you do that one so we need to pass the this reference right dot bind of this so in the same scenario what we need to do here we need to pass the bind of this. okay so this is how we need to call this one so this refers to the class now if i try to print console.log this now it will represent the class so now if i try to refresh refresh remove this one so if i click on update post title see here this refers to the class now here the modified title so the state the title also got updated so this is how we'll be calling the on click handler some people what they will be doing is so they will be creating one variable something like this okay so something like uh, what i can say is so i can take title handler i will take another method so title handler is equal to they will create 
a method okay so this is nothing but the so as uh, state how it is the property the title handler is also a property but it is a method okay here i can write the same thing so i can write the same thing update title we have property function or something like this okay so now if i want to call this one directly i can call without using the binding so if i call title handler if you try to see the output if you try to see the output so if i click on update post title see updating title via property function immediately the title has been updated but now we are not passing any bind why because this title handler as it is a property so this one will be having this within within itself only but the function calling you need to call the dot bind of this okay for example see if you have a anchor link here if you have an anchor link and you have href is equal to something http www.google.com or something like this if you have like this so then if you press on on click handler this title or update title handler what will happen now what will happen is if i click if i try to refresh this one okay if i try to refresh this one if i click on update post title see immediately it refresh and it is going to the google.com so that means what it is happening here so it is refreshing the page so we need to stop the refreshing so how we can pass the ref how we can stop the refreshing so automatically same as in angular or in uh, uh, vue.js how it will passing the dollar event automatically one e will be passed here okay now if i try to console.log uh, e uh, so sorry uh, what i can do is here i can do e dot prevent default e dot prevent default now if i try to refresh this page the same page so the same page if i click here see the proper even prevent default has prevent the link action and it is updated now if you have so in the same scenario what how we can do for another one so for if you want to do the update handler so i will write another another anchor link here in the same scenario i will take another anchor link okay so that it will be very easy for you so here we will be having update title handler right so i will be writing update title handler dot bind of this we are having right so we will be passing the up dot bind of this and here also you will be having the same thing prevent sorry e dot prevent default e dot prevent default okay so now you see this one update the uh, what we will try to do is up, uh, here we are having methods right? sorry here we are having this one right update update via method okay this one update with the property we will write like this so that we will be able to understand now if you try to see so now if i click here this one is updating if i click this one this is updating via title so now it is not refreshing so this is how we will be passing the e will be automatically passed this is nothing but not uh, normal with the normal event it is a synthetic event react js prepares the synthetic event so it will try to send and another one is instead of calling this math uh, this update hand title handler is there right instead of calling this bind of this and all the things if you don't like this one we can also pass like this okay now we can also do like this okay we can also call like this sorry for not this one we, we dot bind of this for this we need to pass it like this only so now here what i mean to tell is so here if you don't want to pass if you want to do like this means so what we need to do is so we can do like this also so this is also the method how we can call so here also you can do it not a problem so like this also you can call now if i try to refresh this page okay it refresh it right so it, now if i try to refresh this page now if i try to refresh this page okay if i click here so now what it is happening here we are not able to update this one so why it is happening here in this scenario if you are, if you are the uh, event will not be passed directly how we need to send the event is we need to send it e and here we need to send it e here the same scenario e and we need to send it like this if we try to see the output so maybe like this only we need to send let's try to check if i click here refreshing again and again 
now this one is working fine so here if i click here it is updating but if i click here it is refreshing so why it is refreshing this one is again it's not working so this is the how we need to pass so e we need to pass it for this one like this and here e, e also we need to pass I, uh, oh sorry we should not use the bind of this again so we are using here like this right calling a uh, function like type of thing we need to pass this comma e like this this comma e okay this should be passed automatically and this comma e or otherwise we should not pass this also i think sorry we should not pass this also so here we can we can remove this here here we, we uh, here if you are using like this there, there is no need to call dot bind and also this one there is no need to pass this here so like this also uh, like this we need to call sorry so here we will call like inside here also we can call like this so now if i try to refresh this one now let's check how, how whether this one is working or not here like this and this one so it is working fine the same scenario okay so this is how we can do but normally uh, what i can say is so the way what we have used right now this is not the recommended way why because if you are passing this uh, object method itself as a props to the another component so there will be a chance might be a chance to re-render uh, two times because of this multiple functioning thing so uh, uh, it is this is not the recommended way to call so uh, best way is you can use some you can create something like property like this and you can call directly this dot title handler so title handler okay so like this you can you can call it directly this dot title handler and the next way is so here also you can do something like dot bind of dot bind of this you can use the dot bind of this okay so this is the recommended way so if you are using something like prop uh, this uh, class method you can call like this or otherwise if you are using like property type you can call this one normally i will be using this property type of notation and another one you need to know remember this you need to uh, remember this if you want to pass parameters custom parameters to this one how i can pass for example here i will be passing so this dot title handler right so now how can i pass is so here what we can do is so in this way what we can do is how we can send is so here for title and handler if you are trying to send this so here we need to bind this comma sorry this comma and lila web dev you can you can send like this now you can use directly here so this title handler is there right so here you can write the title comma and this title we can automatically use it here we are sending as a parameters right so in the same scenario here also you can use the same thing modified or something like that. okay now here you can take the same thing title comma and here i can use this title down so i can use this title down now let's try to see the output so if i try to see the output here now let it refresh yeah it's refreshed so now if i click here so it has been changed to lila web dev if i click on this one it is changed to modified c so now if you want to pass parameters arguments to the here into this method so you can also send like this okay this is how the event handlers will work in the react.js so almost all the react.js so uh, almost all the event handlers on click on change will be like this only so here you will be uh, so little bit of different will be there in the react when while calling the methods so we will be calling the methods in the class class components okay so this is how we will be using the event handlers in the react.js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.